Hey, it's Lauren. Thank you so much for joining me. I am doing a summer clothing haul today. It's been, it's been a little bit since my last clothing haul and I've definitely gotten some newer pieces into my wardrobe. Some of this haul is definitely more summer focused and then just some some pieces that I, I fell in love with. Some really beautiful things are out there right now. I'm gonna go by brand, cause that seems like the easiest way to categorize this. And I'm gonna start with Madewell. In general, Madewell is the uh, the place I haul from that I shop from the, the most. They're definitely like a base of my wardrobe. This is a, a dress. It's like a sage green with these beautiful, almost like cherry blossom style flowers that I've definitely worn it in sort of fancier moments but also dressed it down with sandals. I'd say it's like T length or like knee length but I think it would be a little bit shorter on most people. I'm only about 5'1". I actually got this when it went on sale and then they had like additional percentage off of sale so I got this for a really great deal. So I also got these super funky earrings from Madewell. It's like two-toned blue dangly ball earrings and I like pairing it with something that's normally like a little bit more plain or like a solid color just to sort of like jazz up an outfit and then this these are another pair of wide leg jeans I love me wide leg pants and I bought a pair of wide leg crop jeans from Madewell spring of last year and I still have them. I still wear them all the time. They uh, they came out with them again. They are a tiny bit different. You know, it's a different coloring. They definitely are longer than the other version that I have. So I may or may not tailor them, but it's still like a length that I can walk in and they're a high rise. So I think they are like a nine inch high rise and just, just a great really great great pair of jeans so i'm excited to have like kind of a backup version of those jeans another thing from madewell i got are a pair of these like kind of mule style sandals like with this like sling back i actually again <laughs> i got a version like this last summer but it had a closed toe and I've just, I've worn them all the time. They're like my favorite everyday shoe to wear that when I saw that they came out with like another version, I, I, went, I went and got it. So the next thing I have to share, I actually got at Target from the, the boys section. I was like on a, a Target run and I was just like passing through the aisles and I saw this on an end and I was like, what is this amazing thing? It is a, a blue, a two, ple two piece, summer suit from the brand Cat and Jack. The jacket is a boys 14 and the pants are a boys 12. And because I guess the height of boys at, you know, whatever, whatever they're wearing the size 12 is just like a me height regularly. So both of these fit like a glove. I've styled this a couple of times. I've worn it with just like a white shirt or a white button up as well as I've worn it with a black jumpsuit. So it's a really fun like dressy or like going out for drinks outfit. And uh, and it was like under 50 bucks. It was like a $40 suit. It's a little bit warm for being a summer suit, but I think I'm gonna get just a bunch of use out of both of these items separately because they fit pretty well. I've worn the jacket a couple times on its own with just like jeans. And I actually, I just kind of like forgot about the boys section at Target. I used to shop at the boys section a lot, especially during like my restaurant days when, you know, when you work at a restaurant or something like that, you often have to have like blue or black or white or even like chambray button-ups to wear to work and uh you know those can get kind of expensive when you're needing to like wear one every single night and they get really gross and dirty so i would often go and get one at at target because then it would be like a decent price for something that i was gonna trash and get really smelly so i know this isn't really something that can probably apply to a lot of people but if you are uh, shorter and uh, like petite like me, maybe that's something to look into because you get like super, super great deals. So I actually placed a giant free people order uh, a couple months back, about six weeks or so back, and it was just a giant fail. <laughs> it was mainly dresses and they all just looked 
not good on me. They were all just not for my my height or my body shape. But one, uh, the one thing that did work out from that order is this bodysuit. I've been wanting a couple more like flirty, feminine kind of shirts and items in my wardrobe. I definitely like oversized things. So I wanted to like, you know, make sure I had like a nice like night out kind of top, something that was a little bit sexier and this definitely fits the bill. It's a deeper V-neck with a sheer back. So it definitely makes bras a little bit tricky, but I do have like these like nipple pasties that I can wear with it. And because it is a bodysuit, I can just like tuck in very sleekly to like a pair of jeans or, or a skirt or that blue suit that has some really gorgeous detailing like the, the little ruffle edge on the sleeve and the kind of velvet feeling sheer back on there. And then I actually picked up a couple of things from Brandy Melville. That is another place that can be very hit or miss. You know, they do one size. It's definitely very teen focused, but I do every now and then find like a really great gem. And these are two items that that were winners for me. This first one is this beautiful like emerald green shirt. And it's just like a basic t-shirt and it's definitely cropped. It's not super cropped on me. So it's like a perfect high-waisted uh, pant shirt combo. And then the other thing from Brandy Melville is just this super simple, very easy, effortless wrap dress. And it's this really beautiful like butter cuppy light cream yellow color with all of these little red flowers but some of the flowers have like tints of blue on them so it's just a really cute really pretty easy dress that i i wore quite a bit actually when i went to new to new mexico a few weeks back so it's actually kind of still wrinkled from that trip i've been wearing it a lot with this hat that I actually got in uh, when I was in New Orleans. I've been wanting a, a summer hat, something that you know keeps the keeps the the sun off my head. My only um, thing now is after I was wearing it around in Santa Fe quite a bit, is that it doesn't have like a tie to keep on your head. So if you're walking around and it's like kind of windy, it can easily blow off. So I think. That's something that I'll just like easily fix on my own. I'll add like maybe a leather, like a thin leather strap or even just like some ribbon. So I can like tuck that in when I don't want it. But if there's like some wind, I can like tie it so it doesn't like fly off into the street like it did a couple of times. Something that I picked up while in New Mexico, this is a pair of Zuni style turquoise earrings. They are sterling silver as well so they don't irritate my ears and they are pretty lightweight. I think these are really beautiful. I, I like me some turquoise. I just realized now the artist, the person that made them, uh, is it's written on there. Oh, I didn't even realize. Oh, that's really sweet. Oh, I love those little touches. Lastly, I have several items from Anthropology, like Madewell. Anthropology is like another Another backbone, guilty pleasure, whatnot. Just a place where uh, oftentimes you can find just something really, really special and unique to just be like a, a jazzy thing for the wardrobe. So I have gotten a few things from there. Uh, not all at once, just kind of petered out. But this first thing I think is like the oldest thing that I got is uh, what kind of material? It's by the brand Maeve, which is an anthropology brand, and it is a very like loose, kind of oversized black button up. But what makes it super special is the arms on it. I think it was called the Batwing shirt. So the arms are kind of like attached. So it's very wing-like. <laughs> Uh, definitely uh, kind of act like an idiot sometimes when I wear this and uh, flap around. But regardless, it's been like a fun, unique piece. It's been fun to pair with more statement earrings and because it's an interesting cut, just kind of creates some more like interesting lines. And it, because it's such a thin material, it can like, it like tucks in and stays tucked in really well. Couple more things from Anthropology. This is a, a jumpsuit. 
a wide leg jumpsuit and it's from the brand gray line but it's a linen blend mustard toned jumpsuit that has this kind of like tie front that we've been seeing like a lot in like shirts dresses all kinds of things again it's wide leg but it's cropped so it's not too overtly long and just a a really fun vibrant piece i'm a big fan also of the color yellow i have a pair of like yellow wide leg like satin pants i got like at least more than a year ago and i think they're like one of the only items I, the only item that i seem to ever be wearing when i'm having my photo taken so <laughs> they make up like 90 percent of like my outfit photos on instagram and then last but not least is probably the most favorite thing I have purchased in a long time. It is this super beautiful statement, like jacket, bolero style thing. It's cropped. It kind of reminds me of like Romania or even um, there's like this certain style of like Uzbek embroidery and it reminded me of that. I've worn this a few times. Again, I have mainly been like, this is something that I'll wear with a really simple outfit. Jeans, a white t-shirt, and then I've paired it a few times with like a statement red lip that matched uh, the red in here. So that was really fun to wear and just kind of like a, a keepsake item. The only flaw is I wish that it had like a pocket or something just because my inclination is always to put my hands in my pocket, but I think that might have made it like a little bit like more bulky. Anyways, those are all of the items that I have picked up recently that I wanted to share. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, want to expand to do like more like outfit and clothing videos. I know that my clothing hauls are definitely some of my like most watched and uh, subscribed from videos like looking at my analytics. I know I get a large percentage of people who have subscribed to me from those previous hauls. So if uh, there's any of those types of videos that you have requests for, whether they're styling or if I was just to show like the things that didn't work out as well, let me know. Like say with like that free people order that I made and how I sent back pretty much all of those dresses. If you wanna see the nose and why they were nose uh, as well, let me, let me know. <laughs> let me know about just like the nose and things so then I won't just, you know, send that back. I'll, I'll film about it as well if, if that is like uh, a resource that I could be because I always like looking up brands and seeing how things fit and stuff especially things that are mainly only available online because you never you never know anyways a long long story short i hope you enjoyed this video uh, in any capacity and i'll see you i'll see you in the next one